want to spend a little bit of time talking about what we believe are the major economic drivers for why there's a revolution in automation. And I gave a talk not long ago that um, tried to explain why I thought the United States was actually pretty well positioned, believe it or not, in manufacturing going forward compared to where they were before. And in particular, it had to do with some of the things that were changing. And in particular, labor uh, rate costs were changing quite a bit. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot going on with automation that I think people don't particularly understand or appreciate from an economic point of view that I want to talk about before we start talking about the technology of, of the Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 and what people are trying to accomplish. So the first thing is just to clarify some things that are probably, in my view, easily misunderstood. We talk a lot about the fact that there have been a lot of manufacturing jobs in the United States that have been lost over the last 10 to 20 years. And that's absolutely true. However, most people think that the majority of those jobs were lost to low-cost regions like China, Mexico, and Eastern Europe. And it is true that some of those jobs were lost. But actually, more of those jobs were lost by robots. And in fact, there are some interesting forward-thinking people that are predicting that one of the greatest challenges in our generation, I'm probably too old, but for some of the young people in the room, the guys in the blue shirts, we'll have to figure out, is how does society deal with the fact that so much of our economy is in fact being disrupted by automation? And if you think about our economy today, the inequality in income, for example, a lot of that is a direct result of the fact that our market is thriving today for anybody who has a technical degree. If you have an engineering degree in the United States or anywhere else in the, in the world and you understand IT and you understand automation and you understand things like that, there may not be a better time to be alive from a career point of view. You're in enormously high demand. If you have a high school degree and you'd like to have a good paying union manufacturing job like you did 30 or 40 years ago, there may not be a worse time to be alive. And a lot of that has been blamed on low-cost region, where people in China are willing to take a job for less money, people in Mexico are willing to take a job for less money. And that's true, but those wage rates are going up. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. The part that is undeniable is more and more jobs are being replaced through automation. Um, my father and I get into these arguments all the time because my dad is as left of left as you can get. And I'm a little bit right of center, self-described. He would say I'm far, far right. And my dad is a huge believer in raising the minimum wage. He believes that is incredibly important, and he believes it for all the right reasons. My father wants everybody to get or have a working wage. He believes fundamentally in that. And his heart is in the right place. As an economist, I know through my experience, and I know through what I've witnessed, that if you raise the minimum wage, and all you have to do is go to Germany and see it, you go to a McDonald's in Germany, it's all kiosks. There are no people working in that McDonald's. And the reason is obvious. The cost of the labor in Germany is so high that they replace the people with machines. They look like little bank teller machines, right? You go up and pick your Big Mac, and you go and you pick it up. And every time you raise the minimum wage, another job gets replaced. Panera just recently got sold, right? Here locally, you guys know Panera, St. Louis Bread Company. You see the amount of technology they have in their stores. You guys ever go into Panera's, all those kiosks, right? They've reduced their headcount in labor by an enormous amount, and they've replaced it with technology and replaced it with automation. Now, whether you like it or not is sort of independent of this conversation, but it is amazing what can be uh, done now through networks and through the connection of technology. And most of the jobs, 85% of those were lost due to technology. There's also enormous productivity that has happened over the last 20 years. So while these jobs have, or uh, while there's been a steep decline in factory jobs, this, the manufacturing sector has become more productive, growing roughly 2.2% per year. We've doubled the output per U.S. manufacturing worker over the past two, two decades. Enormous productivity. 
And it's estimated that 25% of all tasks in manufacturing can be automated uh, by robots um, by 2025. So this is happening at a massive rate. I remember the first time I actually ever saw a lights out factory. Has ever, anybody ever been to a lights out factory? Okay, so we got one here. So mine was in Japan. It was a Lexus facility. And by lights out, what I meant was the factory actually operated with no lights on because there were no people in the factory. Um, and when they had somebody visit, like I visited, they turned the lights on just to show you the factory running, and it was all robots. And, uh, and it was running at tack time for lean manufacturing techniques. Um, and uh, it's amazing. And the obvious question is, why hasn't it happened everywhere? And the reason is there's, there's challenges to automation. Uh, first of all, some people don't have the capital to do it. And generally, the trade-off between automation and uh, not doing automation is the relative cost of capital as compared to the cost of labor. And that's why automation is always, generally I should say, happens in Europe first. Because in Europe, the cost of capital is relatively competitive and the cost of labor is very expensive. Um, and as most people in the automation world know, that most of the technology comes out of Germany, which is an export-based economy and arguably the world's best builders of machinery anywhere.